That's nuclear alchemy. One atom quietly becoming another, triggered by a particle that barely exists. This reaction was predicted long ago, but never directly observed. It's like knowing a rare bird exists, but never managing to photograph it. The SNO plus detector finally caught it. Here's how they knew. When the neutrino strikes carbon-13, it creates a first flash of light. Then, about 10 minutes later, the newly formed nitrogen-13 decays and produces a second flash in almost the same spot. Two flashes, same place, separated by time. Scientists call this a delayed coincidence, but you can think of it like hearing a doorbell ring, and then, 10 minutes later, the same door gently closing. Random noise doesn't behave like that. Only a very specific process does. Over more than 230 days of observation, scientists detected exactly the number of events theory predicted. Not dozens, not hundreds, just a handful, but enough to say, yes, this reaction is real. At first glance, detecting just a few events might sound underwhelming. But in neutrino physics, this is huge. This is the lowest energy observation ever made of neutrinos interacting with carbon-13. It's also the first direct measurement of how likely this specific interaction is to happen. Before this, scientists had equations and simulations. Now they have evidence. Think of it like finally testing a recipe instead of just reading it. The ingredients, the timing, the result, all confirmed. This matters because neutrinos are deeply tied to how stars work.